Congratulations on the promotion. Um, what a difference 12 months, mate. You, you know, you were both in the older shot, older shot side that got relegated this time last year. How how much different does it feel now to be in a promotion? Go on, mate, yeah. Yeah, well, for me personally, um, this time last year, um, I think I played one game in seven months and um, just been sacked. Um, so things weren't looking great, if I'm honest. Um, I was still in a lot of pain with my injury and I was thinking maybe uh, maybe it was time that my body had sort of given up and um, I was thankful for the gaffer to invite me up here and once I spoke to him I knew this was the place for me and obviously a year on it's, it's been an unbe unbelievable year and obviously to spend it with these sort of lads as well it's, it's, been, a, it's been unbelievable. Yeah I mean I sort of go along with what Oli said there, once I spoke to the gaffer he was, uh, he's quite not really persuasive, but the way he spoke about the club and what he wanted for this season, it was uh, made my mind up straight away. Really, so going from you know relegation to you know, dropping out the football league was probably the worst, worst time I've had in football. So to come here and to get promoted this year is just unbelievable. Couldn't have gone better, really. What a difference a year makes. We've had some questions coming from fans. This one's coming from Matthew Greenhalgh, and he says uh, Keith Hill said in his interview on Saturday that you two had come up here. You might you might not thank him for this, but you took a pay cut, Perry, to come up here. What was your deciding factor in moving, you know, up north to the grim old north here? Um, what was your deciding factor in, in doing that and taking a pay cut? Um, my deciding factor, uh, to be honest, it was after I spoke to the gaffer, really. Um, you know, after, obviously after the season finished last season, come up and spoke to him, and like I said, just his plans and his enthusiasm for the club and the way that he wanted to take it forward and. The way he spoke, and he, he believed in promotion, and he, you know, I, I, he sold it to me, and I bought into it. And I didn't have to speak to him; my mind was my mind was made up, really. So, yeah, so it was a, I'd have to say it was a gaffer. Yeah, pretty much the same. Um, just before I spoke to the manager, I had an offer from a club that was more local to myself, um, and I was more or less going to sign it, to be honest. And um, it was a last-minute sort of change of mind when I spoke to the gaffer, and. It's a big move for myself, my girlfriend, she was settling the job, um, we just bought a house down there. Um, but I felt this was right and um, I think I've made the right decision and yeah, I'm very happy. What was your highlight, uh, Ollie, personal highlight of the season? Other than um, promotion? Yeah, right? obviously other than in the last two weeks, I think the one that stands out is obviously Leeds. Um, it was a great atmosphere at Scotland and you know the way that the game went, um, Hendo's goal, it all sort of came into one big big magic moment. Just, I don't know, too, uh, too many I think this year. I, I think it'd be hard to pinpoint one. I mean, obviously... As a, on just, a personal one, could on a Chesterfield personal, away Personal, I probably would say Chesterfield away, yeah, the goal and the... Uh, not not so much for the goal, actually, to be honest with you, more so for the celebrations after. Um, obviously, it was great to get on the score sheet, but it was the celebrations in front of the crowd and everyone together at Chesterfield was probably, uh, personally, my, my favourite moment. What's Keith Hill done differently to previous managers? What 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 is it that uh, you know now you're working under him? You said that he was the reason he came up here. What's what's he done differently to other managers that, that set him aside? Um, the tactics for me. Um, you know, I've, I, I've not actually been under that many managers before. I've, I've not had too many clubs, but um, tactically, you know, he's, he's probably the best that I've worked under. Um, and you know, the way that he wants to play football. Like I said, he, he sold it to me in the summer, and it was. You know, I liked what he said, and I agreed with everything that he said in, in the meeting. So it was, um, yeah, the way that he wanted to play football and his man management as well was, uh, I think, um, the best I've had, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's just down to mutual respect and, and, and the trust that we have. Um, you know, you know if, if you're not on board with his plans, then you're not going to play for him. It's as simple as that. And you know, you've played for managers before, we don't really get on with one another, and I think everyone not only trust and respect the gaffer as a manager but also as a man and I think that's massive to her. Light-hearted question now. You're at a pub. You're at a pub quiz. Never. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Never. No, I've been, been at a pub last week. <laughs> <laughs> Which two players would you not want on your pub quiz team? Not one. And why? Um, I wouldn't want Matty Byrne. Why is that? I think he would, he's not the cleverest and I think he, would, he gets a bit flustered and I think he would sort of panic. He showed himself up a bit on the uh, 
football at Wolves had a lady off. Yeah, he yeah. didn't. He did, yeah. And I wouldn't have Hendo either. No, I wouldn't have Hendo. I think it's all the front. <laughs> and have you got another player that you wouldn't have then? Well, well, I wouldn't have Hendo, but it was surprising because Hendo's quite clever, isn't he? But then he just, when it comes down no, to it, like he just struggles, I think. But um, I don't know. Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Enjoy the summer and uh, we'll see you next season. Okay. Thanks a lot.